Hello, I'm Gary. This is my wife, Claudia. This is typically called tree pose. It's really a standing half lotus pose to a toe stand pose. Locking the left leg like a lamp post. Good foot lock, leg lock. Pick up the right foot. Bring the bottom of the foot flat to the ceiling, holding the right foot with the left hand. Several times, I'll bring the heel up high and work the knee down and back several times so we can get it nice and compact here. This is really important if you're going to toe stand. Keeping the heel as high as you can, bring the right hand to prayer. Beautiful setup here. So Cloudy's a little tight, but she's continuing to bring the knee down and back and lift the chest. Eventually, from the side, it looks like you have one knee, one hip, one shoulder. Focused between your brows and the front mirror. This is a focused posture, 100%. An excellent opportunity to build your good foot lock, leg lock, and core locks for the rest of the balancing postures. If you are going to attempt toe stand, hinge it, both hands come to prayer, hinge it, the hips, and fold. Just to make the forward bend super simple. If you can do it, just bring the hands down, forward bend. The right hand's on the floor behind the hip. The left hand comes up to prayer. As you look three feet ahead of you, it starts with the gaze on the floor about three feet ahead of you. Eventually, the gaze comes up. I just want you to look at the floor today, if you don't mind. And then I don't want Cloudy to be in a big hurry to pick her right hand up right now. So this is where Cloudy's work is right now. She's getting a nice hip opener. She's finding her balance. I can see that she's, that she's focusing and working for balance right now. So I would not encourage her to pick the hand up. She wants to, but I would not encourage her to do it right now. And this, is be this work right here is beautiful work. Put your hands on the floor in front of you and push away. Give it a good push away. That's beautiful effort in toe stand right there. Stand with stature. And standing pose. And aren't you excited about doing the other side? And pick up the left foot, bottom of the foot flat to the ceiling, left knee down and back. So again, we really want to work this tight base. The heel comes up as the knee comes down and back several times. Difficult in these environments for focus postures because we're going in and out of photo shoots and there's no drishti. So Claudia's doing a fabulous job at this. And prayer to heart, half prayer. There's no such thing in Sanskrit as a half prayer by the heart. That means your heart's not in it, a half prayer. So again, same thing, working the knee down, back, heel up. This is a great hip opener, standing half lotus pose. Foot lock, leg lock, both hands come prayer, and hinge the hips and fold. Again, don't make the forward bend a big deal. If you can do a forward bend, this isn't really a big deal for a lot of people. Don't make a big deal out of it. Then left hand on the floor, the right hand will come up when she's ready. So by lifting the chest and pushing the knees down and forward, the gaze is on the floor. So I'm going to be proud of the knees down, chest up, and don't be in a hurry to bring either hand up today. Just this is your work. So she's got a nice stretch open, a nice hip opener happening. She's working your focus. This is where Claudia's work is right now. She really wants to bring her hands up right now, but this is where her work is in this posture right now. Eventually, as you lift the chest, both hands come up off the floor. Everybody falls back learning this posture. I fell back a lot. Both hands on the floor. Give it a good push away so you don't get stuck. Eventually, coming up and down with no hands. I used to be able to do it. Used to. And standing pose. And always releasing the posture. This is where all the benefit happens. All the miracles that you hear about in 26.2, it's really the release that they're happening in. Namaste.